about, I was just looking to see if I... The ceremony is due to start in a few moments. Before it begins, here are a few housekeeping announcements. Please keep photography to a minimum during the ceremony. Students are reminded that selfies and any such behaviour when you are processing is not appropriate. If, for personal reasons, you do not wish to shake hands as you cross the stage, please ca carry a copy of the graduation programme that is on your chair with you as you process. When you are instructed to leave your seat, your name will be name-checked against the reading list. It is imperative that you are sat in the seat that was assigned to you on your student ticket. Sitting in a different seat will disrupt proceedings. Above all, please enjoy your graduation ceremony. Could you please be upstanding for the academic procession? Thank you.
President, my lords, ladies and gentlemen, colleagues and friends. It is with great pleasure that I welcome you to Commemoration Day 2017. Imperial College London's graduation ceremonies commemorate the visit in 1945 of their majesties, the late King George VI and Queen Elizabeth, to the college where they honored our celebration of the 100th anniversary of the foundation of the Royal College of Chemistry, a forerunner of Imperial. The governors of the college resolved that this event should be commemorated each year by an assembly of the governors, the president, the provost, the professors, the readers, the lecturers, and those in statute pupillari as an act of homage to our visitor, the reigning sovereign. This event serves as a mark of gratitude for all those who have helped the college and as a sign of personal rededication to the pursuit of knowledge in science, engineering and medicine and their application for the well-being of mankind. We meet today to recognise the outstanding achievements of undergraduate students of the college in sporting triumphs, artistic and musical excellence, diversity in both culture and ideas, volunteering, and not least, in academia. In doing so, may we acknowledge that you not only have enormous potential to contribute towards the advancement of mankind, but that you also shoulder the burden of expectation created by the achievements of those who came before you. Your time as students in the Faculty of Medicine never was solely for academia or achievement, but also to immerse yourselves in university life, developing as fulfilled, capable individuals, forging friendships that will last a lifetime, and tackling global challenges of ethics, philosophy, and society. In doing so, you have made a unique contrib contribution to the history of the faculty an institution which started with St Mary's Hospital Medical School in 1854 and now includes the graduates we award here today. In future years, yours will be the shoulders that subsequent graduates stand upon. In the words of King George on the college's first commemoration day, regard your knowledge and your skill, always in the light of a trust for the benefit of humanity and thereby ensure so far as in you lies, that science may never be put to uses which offend the higher conscience of mankind. So let us today remember all those who have served the college from its beginning, in council and in deeds, and particularly our founder, His Royal Highness Albert the Prince Consort. Let us rededicate ourselves to seeking the truth, to the pursuit of natural knowledge, and to the application of this knowledge to the service of our fellow people in all parts of the world. Gloriat Collegium Imperiali. God save the Queen. Members of court and council, colleagues, distinguished honorees, graduates, family and friends. It is my honor as president of Imperial College London to welcome you to this Commemoration Day 2017. Graduates, congratulations. We're here to celebrate your accomplishments, to applaud your many talents, and to wish you well in all that awaits you in life. You've worked hard in your studies, You've also found time to excel outside the lecture halls and laboratories. You are musicians, dancers, actors, singers, athletes, and you are volunteers who gave your most precious commodity, your time to help others. We also want to recognize those whose support was essential during your time here at Imperial. The academic sitting behind me and many others have shared their knowledge, sparked your curiosity, and broadened your horizons. 
They are dedicated researchers and educators, the best in their fields. They have challenged and inspired you. They have shown you the importance of the high standards in all that you do. Your family and friends are emotional anchors. They are always there when you need them. They share in your triumphs, and they bring additional joy to today's celebration. The opportunities for you to contribute to society abound. You have much to offer. The need for people with your intelligence, passion, and commitment to learning is unending. You graduate at a time when there is a divide between those who believe that globalization is a force for good and those who feel that it is a reason for diminished opportunities and dashed hopes. It is a time when universities are viewed by some as part of the problem rather, rather than a source of solutions. Some think universities are elite institutions that are not relevant to them. We have a responsibility to change that perception. We need to do more to share our world of innovation and discovery, and we need to find new ways of doing this. Imperial will continue to benefit society primarily through our excellence in research and education. We will continue to work on solutions to complex, persistent problems affecting the world. Imperial will also continue to share what we do through our excellent outreach to schools, our care for patients, and our public engagement. We have new opportunities to reach new neighbors around our new campus in White City, just three miles northwest of here. There we have opened the invention rooms where we will bring new approaches to sharing the wonder of what we do in research and education. Our maker and hack spaces at the invention rooms will be beacons for us to collaborate with our community. For this, we will rely on the volunteer spirit ingrained in our staff, alumni, and students. Last year, Imperial students devoted over 25,000 hours serving more than 150 community groups. I urge you to carry this volunteer spirit with you. Find ways to contribute to society by working with the communities where you live and work. You can provide hope and confidence to individuals who have not had the same access to university education as you. And you will be joining 200,000 alumni who have taken their intellect and energy into communities around the world. Volunteering is a form of collaboration. Respect your neighbors, listen to them, and learn from them, just as you learn from your colleagues. Things we learn beyond our fields of expertise produce wisdom and creativity. Also learn from your mistakes. Dr. Demis Hassabis, the co-founder and CEO of Google DeepMind, recently gave the Imperial Global Health Initiative lecture. He talked about the use of computers to help us to process information that is beyond our human ability. He spoke of AlphaGo, the machine that mastered the complex and intricate game of Go. Go has been played for thousands of years. It cannot be mastered with simple rules, and it requires a great deal of intuition. Computer analysis by brute force is impossible due to the 10 to the 170 possible moves. Their approach to playing Go used neural networks to allow the computer to learn from observing the moves of hundreds of amateur games. They then set the computers to play against itself millions of times using what they call reinforcement learning. That is, learning from its mistakes and improving each time. In the end, the Go community was inspired by some of the creative and new approaches that AlphaGo used. Imagine that, Go Masters inspired by the creativity of a computer. We humans do this too. You will learn from each risky move. You will learn from each error you correct. 
and you will learn from each positive reinforcement you receive. You will be creative in the process and you will inspire new ways of doing things. Never stop learning. Extend your reach, share your knowledge. We are proud of you and we are excited by your future. Please keep in touch. Your achievements will inspire us and they will inspire future generations of students. Congratulations. President and Chair, I beg leave to present those who have received awards within the Faculty of Medicine. The names will be announced by Professor Alison McGregor, Professor of Musculoskeletal Biodynamics, by Professor Myra McClure, Professor of Retrovirology, by Professor Terry Tetley, Non-Clinical Consul, by Professor Peter Openshaw, Clinical Consul, and by Mr. Martin Lupton, Associate Dean and Head of Undergraduate Medicine in the Faculty of Medicine. Due to the large number of graduates being presented today, may I ask the audience to reserve applause to prize winners and until the end of the group. Thank you. Associates of Imperial College School of Medicine and first degrees of the University, Bachelor of Science. Dalia Mathana Abdul Hussain. Michael Abu Abdallah. Anita Prima Akaria. Lydia Aqua. Samir Afaisal. Rishi Algarawal. Abdul Aziz Farhad Harmin Ahmed. Riaz Ahmed. <laughs> Nadia Ahmed. Sami Faisal Karim Al Basame. Zayed Al Haddadad. Mitham Ali. Kazim Ali. Lisa Amani, Alicia Aman, Nima Umesh Kumanimin, Emlyn Abmuthasaran, Wamwei Ang, Philippe Antonis, Smriti Ajula, Madalena Adesino. Karen Aspie, Gemma Atkins, Nako Atsumi, Nadia Albach, Joseph Ayathamathan, Nafisa Ibrahim Badat, Olivia Elizabeth Alice Bailey, Ali Bakish, awarded the Agnes Coke Prize. Sariana Balaswaran. <laughs> Catherine Laura Barrett. Awarded the Derek Johnson Leukemia Prize and the Stedman Prize, Komran Bacekovic. <laughs> Nadia Bednachuk. Halima Temitope Bello. Awarded the David Lees Memorial Prize and the Society for Endocrinology Undergraduate Achievement Award, Gotham Binoy. <laughs> Daniel Best. Padmanath Bart. Rosie Bogle. Ali Bilal. Hassan Bilal. Alice Sophia Blom. Ruth Bloxham. Jacob Bradshaw, Connor Bruce, 
Hugo Augustus Busby Brundle, Rawa Baran, Harry Michael Burton, Michael Bussell, awarded the Society for Endocrinology Undergraduate Achievement Award, Seamus Bart. Charlie Carrad, Louise Hillary Caldwell, Angus Alistair Cameron Blackie, Caroline Rachel Cartledge, Marta Casanova Ortega, awarded the NHLI Outstanding Achievement Prize in Cardiovascular Sciences, Daniel Jeffrey William Cave, <laughs> Mayhek Charda. Pakon Chan, Thea Sophia Chandler, Timothy Chow, Rehan Chowdhury, Akib Mahmood Chowdhury, Li Hing Chen, Li Xian Chu, Ravi Chatolia, Mariam Chowdhury, awarded the Alan J. Stolo Prize, Olivia Louise Connell. Jack Francis Towers Cope, Seth Cox, Jed Harrison Cummings, Alexander Daniel Dellison Curran, Patricia Stephanie Maino Tahedon, Elizabeth Mary Dale, Sarah Dardak, Alexander Davidson, Shivali Dowda, Muhammad Fidil Daywood, Alicia De Silva, Nirali Desai, Pooja Manaj Devani, Kiran Daliwal Singh Thind, Simran Desai, Priya Dillon, Matteo de la Colofichli, Shikula Joanne Diaz, Callum John Donaldson, Chanel Desai, James Duff, Emma Duffett, Christian Aishorn, Mohammed Ahmed Ibrahim Abdelaziz El Bahasamwi, Sarah El Gamel, Isabel Neoma Embry Young. Catherine Elizabeth Evans. <laughs> Stephanie Ioma is a weke. Mohammed Amre Falala. Ara Faraj, Ryan Faroknik, Dominic Fernandez, Daniel Thomas Field, Alexandra Lindsay Grace Finch, Elizabeth Suzanne Dulcy Fletcher, Guy Henry Robert Fletcher, Christian David Flynn. Ariel Geraint Francis Morris, Chi Ho Fung, Bethany Grace Garrett, Philippe Gavetsky, Luke Christopher Gagan, Natalie Kashiga George, Lota Gerard, Tatiana Gibbons, Tavleen Singh Gill, Anna Catherine Elizabeth Gillespie, Vaishani Yayanathan, awarded the ICBS Prize for the best group report on the BSc Management Programme, Nishima Gokhani. <laughs> awarded the Max Bond Memorial Prize, David Michael Goldsmith. <laughs> William Folks, Ratan Gore, 
Axel Goronison awarded the ICBS Prize for the best group report on the BSc Management Programme, Gavir Singh Grewell. <laughs> Ryan Anthony Griffin. Oliver Griffith. Shubham Gupta. Rachel Hall. Osama Mahmoud Hamid. Lamia Ham Hamidovic. Ikram Ulhaq. Shufaiz Hashimi. Isra Hussain. Robert Hill. Druti Harani. Genevieve Christine Hirsch. Harry Edward Hodgson. Guy Allen Hucker. Alisa Huda. Alexander Hoopers. Awarded the Society for Endocrinology Undergraduate Achievement Award, Louise Houghton. <laughs> Abigail Phoebe Hughes. Alexander Timothy Hughes. Morgan Alexander Hughes. Tausif Hu. Summer Al Hussein. Chavez Hussein. Megan Kate Cameron Hutchinson. Ali Ajaz. Michaelis Isosophathis. Mohammed Javid Iqbal. Joanna Ishmael. Patrick Lewis William Isola. Kashnik Jain. Minal Manujanath Jain. Virjal Jaini. Lisa Rhiannon Jeffers. Alex Jellu, Shansi Jen, Joshua Jewell, Hiral Jola, Bajan Jivri, Rebecca Joachim, Imogen Josephine John, Liam Johnston, Holly Louise Joyce, Hakaram Singh Kalkat, Sagar Kanabar, Ashan Kandia, Kishnan Karia, Khalid Kazi, Catherine Alice Kendrick, Amir Hamid Ahmed Khan, Amrin Khan, Rabit Khan. Awarded the Dudley Phillips Memorial Prize, David Hendricks Cockerling. Awarded the Pereira Prize, Jia Ming Ko. Marisa Wen Ko. Bun Sen Ko. Not here. Avi Abraham Corman, Varun Kotari, Monica Krijeska, Anthusa Kaithriu Tu, Jessel Ladva, Jay Lakhani, Nikhil Lal. Awarded the Society for Endocrinology Undergraduate Achievement Award, Emma Louise Marie Larson. <laughs> Alice Lee. Maliha Lending. Chen Sing Lee. Haibo Lee. Su Yin Lim. Harry Alexander Lewis Lorenz, Nicholas Lucas, awarded the ICBS Prize for the Best Group Report on the BSc Management Programme, Susanna Luengo Cubillo. <laughs> Catherine Adele Lumbi, Michael Johanna Mangerefti. 
awarded the ICBS Prize for the Best Health Management Performance on the BSc Management Program, Taha Mahmood. Indira Malik. Jade Mann. Thulashi Manivanan. Laura Rose Manley. Susan Manu. Natasha Regina Manuel Pile, Gabriella Joy Marchitelli, Maria Danielle Marx, Nikhil Vijay Math, Mala Mokin, Joshua John McGillicuddy, Caitlin Michel. Shannon Sarah Mackay, Sanya Medirata, Arjun Menon, Rahul Menon, Shan Yasin Mian, Rebecca Garyun Sang Mills, John Frederick Samir Millwood Hargrave. Awarded the Julia Buckingham Prize, Nikita Ray Mitchell. <laughs> Stefania Mitsaki. Fahad Mohammed. Michael Monaghan. Claudia Elizabeth Rosa Murgillon. Hannah Sally Morgan. Rory Morgan. Benjamin Moshi awarded the Society for Endocrinology Undergraduate Achievement Award, Vishnu Muru Gavalu. <laughs> Ranga Mulegama, Matthew Hani Naim, Amar Nanda, Diraj Narendra. Michael Noshi Kurulus Haruz. Awarded the Julia Buckingham Prize, Sanjay Nath. <laughs> Adil Nadib Naim. Michael Brendan Anthony Neal. Oscar Newman. Ahmed Abdullahi Noor. Awarded the Society for Endocrinology Undergraduate Achievement Award, Shannon O'Flynn. <laughs> Noni Okulia. Adiola Anike Omobunkola Alauke. Temini Olua Oloni Shaken. Olo Wabunmi Olo Woyu. Jenny Christina Olson. Awarded the Thomas Scurry Prize, Samantha Ying Chi Ong. Isabel Marie O'Shea. Awarded the Joan Woodward Undergraduate Memorial Prize, Alia Pagarkar. Ishwarya Suri Yukant Pai, Mona Panahi, Naveen Arshana Papachan, Viraj Parma, Anmol Patel, Arun Patel, Nikita Janvi Patel. Nishil Patel, Smith Patel, Tijus Patel, Yusuf Amin Adam Patrick, Charles Penn, Jessica Pito, Kavya Pile, 
Francois Daniel Prinsloo, Jennifer Kwan, awarded the Society for Endocrinology Undergraduate Achievement Award, Utsav Kaushik Radia. Oshik Raha, Somrid Ranjan, Joseph Rasam, Nitesh Naresh by Rathod Rathod, Kuran Rati, Oliver Luke Rees, Grace Alexandra Hefseba Richardson, Elizabeth Jane Robinson. Sweena Santhi Rakumaram. Konstantinos Sava. Anne Sebastian. Faisal Secretary. Ishani Seth. Awarded the ICBS Prize for the best group report on the BSc management program, Sonika Sethi. <laughs> Lubiana Shabir. Thomas Shackshaft. Pooja Shah. Varsha Shani. Ashwin Sharma. Barat Sharma, Nina Joyce Joseph Gabala Shehata, Yaroslav Shikanov, Abdul Wasi Siddiqui, Geith Gianaka Silva, John Keith Simmons, Toby Sinclair. Bovandeep Singh Slage. Christopher Robert Smith. Eftivulos Socratus. Kevin Gandhi Somasundrum. Vinny Sonagara. Christopher Spence. Catherine Patricia Spilsbury. Anita Lakshi Ski. Awarded the Faculty of Medicine Prize, Frederick John Nigel Sturton. <laughs> Wenrui Soon. Samyukta Sundar. Ashwin Sundaram. Melanie Susie Haran, Alison Swarey, Tyrion Alice Elizabeth Swart, Sophie Talib, William Tall, Kia Hao Matthew Tan, Laura Jupeng Tan. Wei Yan Tan, Alice Ruo Wei Tang, awarded the ICBS Prize for the best group report on the BSc Management Program, Shanil Tana. <laughs> J. 
Jeremy Tannen. Edward Tao. Alexandra Anna Fiuchari. Katerina Thomas Fernandez. Nithin Koshithopura. Saranya Thurai Ratna. Laura Grace Tickdow. Eleanor Tyndall. James Peter Trull. Sandra Maria Tsotti. Michael Peter Vanner. Seon Vishu Mohan. Joanne Madeline Wagland. Adam Matthew Walker. Robin Wang. Luke Fabian Weston. Hang on, hang on. Michael Wilkinson. Timothy James Woodhead. Aikun Nagai Kanyam. Wen Quing Yam. Wakana Yasuda. Aziz Yunus Ibrahim. Edwin Kain Hing Yu. Mariam Zaidi. Rihan Akhtar. George Rajasekar. Hanin Ramadan. Awarded the Shivan Chan Rajmohan. Ella Robertson. Are there more? Did it? More? Elisha Ruparila. Salahuddin Thomas Steeren Sarah Stories Jennifer Zhang Charlotte Iona Russell. Risha Amasi, Ziad Amin, Hampus Alexander Anderson, Anisha Bandari, Sirkan Kakir, Hugh Sun Jasmine Chan, awarded the Malcolm Morris Memorial Prize, Arusa Chutai. Nicholas Wing Fung Cheng.
Rory Clayton. Awarded the Dudley Prize, the Pharmacology Prize, and the Charles Powell Prize, Theodora Alexandra Constantin. Siloni Nilesh Dutani. Dakshenya Arditi Dinagaran. Maxine Gabrielle Dillon. Gwindo Bao. Meryl Aletta Usman. Aisha Fazana. Eve Violet Daisy Gooden. Sumpriti Gupta. Amy Nicole Harvey. Samantha May Hooker. Chin Chin Hui. Amy Eno. Gerard Mohan Jayaratnam. Natalie Jimenez Awuapara. Heva Kalilifar. Rachel Amy Lee. Sihua Lee. Emma Louise Little. Ching Wen Lum. Coral Marie Marriott. Devani Mawadi. Ricardo Messina. Jonathan Andrew Masters. Serena Moodley. Mohammed Itihad Mushrat. Sukpal Kaur Nal. Awarded the NHLI Prize for Outstanding Performance in Respiratory Sciences, Pei Yi Ung. <laughs> Yu Yung Hansen Ung. Makiko Nishikawa. Gwen O'Driscoll. Kimaya Pundit. Hui Jean Po. Jessica Jane Ravenscroft. Anna Ridlova. Ira Kartika Dewi Sabli. Hei Yi Erin Sun. Yu Sun Sung. Wei Xiong Te. Elisaveta Chibanyuk. Lee Sophie Virchow. Leah Wang. Stephanie Catherine Ann Wills. Sumyi Susanna Wong. Angela Man Ching Wu. Dancing Yo. Sarah May Bethel. Jessica Bowen. Sarah May Bethel. <laughs> Ala Abuon. Nadja Ahmed. Lisa Amani. Sean Sathiyajit. It is with great sadness that we have to announce that Sean died during the course of the year. But we are pleased that his sister, Siobhan, is here with us today to collect his degree. Finally, Adriana Via Vicencio. It is with great sadness that we have to announce that Adriano died during the course of this year, and our thoughts today are with his family.
Sharuk Zuberi Group BSc Prize. <laughs> Bachelors of Medicine and Bachelors of Surgery and Associates of Imperial College School of Medicine. Abhishek Abraham Rowlands. Catherine Addy. <laughs> Marche Adler. Afika Binti Adnan. Niall Safir Ahmad. Imran Ahmad. Kasim Ahmed. Maruf Ahmed. Tausif Ahmed. Zainab Al Dubesi. Sher Ali. Mustafa Ali Ahmad. Abasega Anantavarathan. Ifoan Elizabeth Edem Anda. Nicholas Anson. Devon Michael Anthony. Faki Antonio. Deepa Aurora. Usama Asif. Basha Nasir Atala. Samira Hana Ork Burali. Ji Yoon Bak. Ji So Beg. Nikita Balaji. Eleanor Elizabeth Baldwin. Martin Bamford. Taran Pal Singh Bansal. Ishani Barai. Awarded the Victor Ladorum Llewellyn Prize, Matthew Thomas Barlow. <laughs> Harry Robert Bellenberg. Thomas Philip Bemond. Katrina Siobhan Bennett. Henry Robert Beresford. Sophie Camilla Beverly. Rajan Singh Bambra. Radhika Banot. Anne Breen B. Catherine Jingbo B. Harjot Singh Birdie. Sarah Elizabeth Bishop. James Robert McKinley Black. Indula Devmini Bopitya. Christopher Felix Brewer. Samantha Christine Brown. Sylvia Bertzer. Awarded the Cheadle Prize and Faculty of Medicine Prize, Thomas Butters. Thomas Carhill, Oliver James Campbell, Rebecca Louise Cassin Scott, Mohammed Arif Ishmael Chabu, Paul James Se Chu Chong, Rebecca Kai Jan Chung, Tanya Chopra. Prem Chohan, Abadu Rahman Chowdhury, Carissa Kai Yik Chu, Christopher Manfu Chung, Catherine Hannah Clements, Sarah Connellan, Nina Catherine Cooper, Joe Alexander Corkill. Catherine Heather Cottrell. <laughs> Keris Elizabeth Daniel. Thomas Michael Priest Dauncey. Natalie Grace Davies. <laughs> Katrina Dickey. Pavle Dimitrievich. Ba Antai Din. 
Neil Duncan Donald, Olive, Oliver, sorry, <laughs> Oliver Robert, Robert Douglas, Stephanie Drew, Isabel Louisa Duncan, Abdul Rahman El Hili, Thomas Alexander Elliott, Hane Jane Ertman, Mark Fellows, Ying Fu, Lauren Francis Fowler, Claudia Louise Fowler Williams, Mustafa Mohamed Rida Franca, Madeleine Freeman Romilly, Emma Rhiannon Gabbett, Fenigan Ganeshanathan, Yuki Gi, William Anthony Benjamin Gowanta, Mehmet Gez, Kiranpreet Kaur Gill, awarded the Thomas Henry Green Prize, John Michael Gillespie. Maria Gorieva, Adam Green, Christian William Paul Greer, Thomas Peter Gubbin, Keshav Kumar Gupta, Nikita Shivani Gupta, Salma Diab Haddad, awarded the Norman C. Lake Prize. Kiba Salim Danish, Richard Anthony Hall, Catherine Mary Halloran, Joseph Wilfred Halen, Wei Jing Ho, Ibtisham Tausif Hussein, Anna Humphreys. Daniel Robert Tozla Hunt, Faran Emdad Hook, Anna Rebecca Hurley, Shiraz Sayez Iqbal, Omar Jamal, Sina Jamai Oskui, Siriani Maduka Jayashingi, Daha Jung, Sanjit Kapoor, Oliver James Kemp, Hamid Khan, <laughs> Bilal Amir Khan, Harun Khan, Joshua Khan, Maha Khan, Sarah Alia Khan, Tasnia Akta Nahid Khan, Tane Karwadakar, Valerie Meiji Koo, Jin Kim, Wu Jae Kim, Shun Ting Sally Ko, Kimberly Cock, Sushana Krasna McLeod, Sonal Jayesh Lakani, Mariam Lami, Benjamin Hongwei Lao, Emily Gwen Wu Lung, Hu Yu Lung. Sophia Elena Lewis, Jennifer Elizabeth Luzi, <laughs> Thomas Ka Chiong Lee, Maria Teresa Lycos Corbett, 
Jayu Kelly Lim, Ernest Kim Dumje, Nigel Kilty, no. Ranon Lobo, Andrew Edward Logan, Amir Majid, Ali Khan Hussein Makani, Yulia Maksunova, Catherine Malabanan, Jay Mandan, Abris Masuni, Aaron Mathivanan, Helen Victoria Maxwell, Orla McAuliffe, Thomas Cormac Mee, Annie Conchuru, Chetan Grikumar Metha, Nishit Metha, Aranthi Menon, Deepak Menon, Jessica Miles, Manvi Mittal, Irene Moratis, James Alexander Morris, David James Morrow, Keshav Mugdal, Amir Jamal Mugdal, Umer Aslam Mughal, Ernest Lim, Rose Anna Mulvey, Amir Mustafa, Kemar Mustafa, Puja Nayer, Hannah Nagapragsam, Samir Nadir Singh, Osman Niem, Diana Louisa Eve Newman, Nick Fianik Fauzi, Joseph Matthew Lind, Helen Norris, Ephimodon Henry Obar, awarded the Faculty of Medicine Prize and the Victor Lodorum Llewellyn Prize, Sam Edward O'Boy. Luke Alexander Parker, Hena Paresh Patel, Nandita Patel, Nagesh Patel, Primel Manesh Patel, Sanya Patel, Shivani Patel, Caroline Sarah Alice Phillips, Sebastian Daniel Paulson, Alok Rovedi Passad, Sunilia Joseph Passad. Awarded the Anthony de Rothschild Prize, the Faculty of Medicine Prize, the Glazier Prize in Surgery, and the Golding Medal Prize, and the Gordon M. Holmes Prize, <laughs> Jing Xiao Quick. Hayley Elizabeth Quetchari, Nicola Florence Rayside, James Railton, Avrind Raju Kalpalan, Shanan Rashid, Rebecca Razi, Erica Rose Refsum, Timothy Richards. Abia Fatima Rizvi, Jessica Roberts, Bradley Clinton Roberts, awarded the Boitel Prize, Anna Robinson, Awarded the Faculty of Medicine Prize and the Victor Lodorum Llewellyn Prize, and Riti Shadev. 
Muriam Salim, Sharon O'Shansi, Jazraj Panisar, Habiba Salim Danish, James Manoram Singh Sawali, Akshut Sini Sony, Hannah May Scanlon, Alexander James Scarborough, Jessica Schofield, Marina Schofield, Lego Borum. Awarded the Adam Snape Audit Prize, Teresa Margrethe Schultz. <laughs> Johannes Schwenk, Alex Timothy Alexander Sears, Sean Richard Selduvere, Kilish Radia, Mohammed <clears throat> Shazad, Aisha Sashpal. Chen Sin, Kintong Shin, Yusuf Ali Islam Shewani, Sharim Siddiqui, Hamid Singh Sidhu, Mingang Sinha, Ashwin Shivaran, Ria Emma Smith, Samik Sofat, Rajiv Dev Mahesh Solanki, James Zeng Han Su, awarded the Gordon M. Holmes Prize and the Piera Prize and the Grant Blair Portfolio Prize, Amanda Stenbach. <laughs> Isabella Frances Stopford, Sarah Sassal Alice Storick, Lawrence Paul Suckling, Varun Suda Nagenta, Thomas Sullivan, Namit Surana, Harishan and <coughs> Suranran, Krishani Suharanan, Timon Max Swatball. Yasir Tahir, Alison Tang, Henry Viral, <laughs> Alistair Tang, Zoe Grace Tattersall, Eleanor Jenny Rose Taylor, Alice Grace T, awarded the British Pharmacological Society Prize. Mayu Terra Naka. <laughs> Angelina Kavita Thapa. Alexander Gerard Thompson. Awarded the Victor Lodorum Llewellyn Prize, Jessica Thompson. <laughs> Hannah Thrower. <laughs> Ilya Yun. Enkal Singh Upal. <coughs> awarded the Edgar Lawley Prize and Faculty of Medicine Prize, Pietro Fasalo. <laughs> Orsolia Orsul Vitae, Vishani Vora, Connor Walsh, Clara Elizabeth Weaver, Thomas Weddell, Antonia Joyce Whitaker, Christopher Wilde, Caroline Susan Williams, Jacinthe Wilson, Andrew James Wilson, Thomas David Weddell, Elaine Andrew Wong, <laughs> Christina Wong, Yi Lin Wong, Alexander Dean Wood. <coughs> 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 
sorry. <laughs> Hang on. Vasanth Srithran Ran, Ranjo Singh Sangira, Krishna Gadvi, Alice Caulfield, Sheena Chung, Rashid Salam Al Qadari. Oliver Rowe Wright awarded the Faculty of Medicine Prize. Oliver Rowe Wright. <laughs> Clarence <coughs> Yen, Tamara Lung Yu, Miriam Zegai, Peter Zhang, Sridrata Kumar, Giles Kilsby, Farin. Abraham. Abraham. That's right. Suksika Pereira. That now concludes the graduates from the Faculty of Medicine. Almost asked, Azim Siddiqui.
Ladies and gentlemen, it's now my very great pleasure to invite Professor Sir Nicholas Wright to the lectern to give the congratulatory address to the graduating class. President, Chair, Provost, Dean, distinguished colleagues and guests, and of course, most importantly, new graduates from Imperial College, can I offer all of you my sincere congratulations. Today is a very important day in your lives, and a day I know from my own personal experience is one you will never forget. If you reflect, you've come a long way, and today is a day for rejoicing, looking back, forgetting the overdraft and the debt, reflecting how far you've come and what you've achieved. It's a real privilege for me to be asked to address you today, since we have something very much in common. We're both graduating from Imperial College. I do hope you're as proud as I am at receiving your degree from this great university in these wonderful surroundings of Royal Albert Hall. Well, are you? I didn't hear that. On the other hand, we're rather different. You're at the outset of your careers. I'm close to ending mine. I have to say I really envy you. I firmly believe that the signal advances in genomics, cell biology, and medical engineering, many developed here in Imperial College, will seriously impact on your future careers. Perhaps you may permit me a few observations. Firstly, at some times I left Imperial College and stood on this very platform assisting in such a ceremony. And the overriding feeling I have as I stand here is one of change. Let me assure you, change is the one thing you will encounter and have to adapt to throughout your future careers. In my own case, I was president of the Foundations Medical School, formed as it was in 1997 by the merger of St. Mary's Medical School with Charing Cross and Westminster Medical School, the Royal Postgraduate Medical School at Hammersmith, the National Heart and Lung Institute at the Brompton, all proud and independent institutions. There were also reciprocal changes in their associate NHS trusts. This was an enormous and radical change. I had the privilege of being the first deputy principal of the new medical school. For many years, I've been working very happily as a professor at the Hammersmith, but suddenly, without much warning, we were thrust together to form the Imperial College School of Medicine. Was this a welcome change? President, I'm sorry to say, for many, it was not. It was a sharp clash of culture and traditions, undergraduate school with postgraduate, relatively new with old. Many found this change extremely difficult. But though we persevered and managed the change, there's absolutely no doubt that the whole was greater than the sum of its parts. Imperial College School of Medicine is now a vibrant community and counted among the very best in the world. After several years, I moved to Barts in the London as their Dean of Medicine. They had undergone a recent merger. And if anything, this change would be more traumatic and more difficult to manage. Barts, as it is set in the heart of the city, the London and Whitechapel, among the most socially deprived and excluded boroughs in the country. A real clash of cultures. But again, by pulling together, there's no doubt the re-emergence of Barts and London as a flourishing medical school has been fueled by the management of change. Of course, there were personal co compensations. It was very gratifying to see Imperial Medics carry off the United Hospital Rugby Challenge Club in the four consecutive years I was here, and thereafter dominate the composition. Though I do hope you've noted that Bart's beat Imperial in the final this year. As president of both clubs, I naturally take full credit. <laughs> There's no truth in the malicious rumor I had anything to do with manipulation of admission criteria at Imperial or indeed at Marts. And so change will be a major player in your lives and careers, and how you respond to these changes will largely define your success. In the way you practice, in your working conditions, in your relationship with your fellow professionals, in the way you treat your patients, and of course, with your employer, who will mainly be the National Health Service. You should appreciate that in many ways, you have the power to set the agenda in most, if not all of these spheres. You will get the condition you deserve, and the General Medical Council, and even the National Health Service you deserve. It's only you who represent the future of our profession who can really make the difference. You can become the leaders, and you must make the running. Please, please do not shrink from this. Now, while you congratulate yourselves and your friends, 
Please spare thought for your families, long-suffering, supportive, and at this point anyway, filled with enormous pride. While gratitude is a very difficult emotion to sustain, hope you do your best. My own family is here today. I should like to say how much I owe to them and their support throughout my career. You should be very clear the years you spent at Imperial were among the very best in your lives, which we will look back with fond regard. And also the friends around you today will most probably be the very best you will ever make. And I do mean that. You've been a great, through a great deal together and this forges a close bond. Don't lose this and keep in touch with each other. You will never regret it. If I could give you only one piece of personal advice, it would be this. Never, ever take no for an answer. If you want to be a consultant gastroenterologist, a hepatobiliary surgeon, a cardiologist, or even a professor of medicine, if you want it badly enough, you'll become one. Never become discouraged. Keep the faith and hang on to your dream. There's always a way. It's well to remember that however good we are at research and innovation, perhaps the most important measure of medical school's success is the quality of its graduates. I'm sure I speak for all your teachers when I say, I sincerely believe you'll be great ambassadors for Imperial College, and they'll watch your future careers with great interest. It just remains for me to wish you all Godspeed. Grads of Imperial College 2017, I salute you. It's now my great pleasure and honour to read the citation for Dr. James Moss for President's Medal for Outstanding Contribution to Teaching Excellence. Dr. James Moss, Senior Physiology Teaching Fellow in the National Heart and Lung Institute, is known for his enthusiastic, supportive and exciting teaching style. This combined with the generosity with which he gives his time to support students' extracurricular activities makes him one of our most popular teachers. Alongside the contributions he has made to the educational and professional development of the teaching faculty, he has engaged students as partners and collaborators in educational research activities, building their research profiles as well as his own. In his nomination for this award, one of Dr. Moss's students sums up the contribution that he has made. She writes, Dr. Moss is more than an educator. He is a role model, a motivator, and a friend upon whom we all rely. I therefore invite you, President, under the powers granted to you by the Council, to award Dr. James Moss the President's Medal for Outstanding Contribution to Teaching Excellence. And that now concludes the award of the President's Medals. I now invite the Dean of the Faculty of Medicine, Professor Jonathan Weber, to the lectern. Thank you. Imperial College Medals, Professor Sir Tony Newman-Taylor. Professor Sir Anthony Newman-Taylor has made a huge impact on Imperial College London He's greatly respected across the whole college as the President's Envoy for Health and Director of Research and Development at the National Heart and Lung Institute. He's a valued and influential ambassador for Imperial on both the national and the international stage. So I first met Tony 36 years ago when I was fortunate to be a junior doctor on his firm at the London Chest Hospital. Tony was then himself a relatively newly appointed consultant, jointly at the London Chest and at the Royal Brompton and Harefield Hospitals. He was subsequently, through a stellar career at the Royal Brompton, the medical director, director of research and development, ultimately deputy chief executive, and I know on occasion acting chief executive of the Royal Brompton. Professor Newman-Taylor then made his mark 
on the life and work of Imperial College as Deputy Principal of the Faculty of Medicine and then from 2010 to 2012, Principal of the Faculty of Medicine. He continued to support and help the faculty in his role as a non-executive director of Imperial College Healthcare NHS Trust uh, until the end of last year. He is an internationally recognized expert in the field of occupational lung disease, and in this regard, he has chaired or served on many government advisory committees in many countries, including Greece and Spain and India, as well as acting as consultant to the British Armed Forces and to the UK government. His many contributions in this area were recognized with a knighthood for public service in 2008. I therefore invite you, President, under the powers granted to you by Council, to award Professor Sir Anthony Newman Taylor an Imperial College Medal in recognition of his considerable contribution to the life and work of Imperial College. Imperial College Medal for Miss Rosie Shaw. Rosie. This year, Miss Rosie Shaw celebrates 20 years at Imperial College. Most highly regarded for her patience, her determination and professionalism, an unfailing sense of humour, and a talent for the written word, Miss Shaw has been a loyal member of the faculty, a champion of the merged institutions and a valuable guide through times of significant change. Ms. Shaw has been key to a number of very notable achievements in the faculty, including establishing its digital communications team and taking responsibility for a very wide range of ICT projects that support the faculty's work on intellectual property, on research grants and contracts, clinical trials, and a host of other activities. While her expertise and efficiency had led her to take on special projects with implications for the college as a whole. I will always remember Rosie for the support she gave me early on in her career, as with colleagues working late at night, we left a very grim draft of a major application for Rosie then to turn into elegant prose. And it's pleasing for me to take this opportunity to thank her for that and for many subsequent contributions. I therefore invite you, President, under the powers granted to you by the Council to award Ms. Rosie Shaw an Imperial College Medal in recognition of the considerable contribution she has made to the life and work of Imperial College. Francis <laughs> Nicholas Wright. We're delighted to welcome Professor Sir Nicholas Wright to Imperial College today for the award of his honorary degree. Throughout his remarkable academic career, Professor Wright has been committed to studying the pathology of cancer, and in particular, research into cancer of the gastrointestinal tract, the gut. His studies into the early origins and biology of these life-threatening tumors promise to lead to new treatments of various types of disease affecting the gut, and broaden our understanding generally of the role of stem cells in these diseases. He's brought his skills and experience to many prestigious roles, including Imperial, where he's had a long and illustrious history. He's a former president of both the, Royal, uh, the British Society for Gastroenterology and the Pathological Society of Great Britain and Ireland. He was elected a fellow of the Faculty of Medicine in 2011. He's from Bristol originally, a graduate of the University of Durham, trained in Newcastle, and then moved to Oxford as the Nuffield Professor of Pathology, but then was lured to the Hammersmith Hospital Royal Postgraduate Medical School in 1969 as Professor of Histopathology. There he created what was arguably the best pathology department in the country. Professor Wright was subsequently Dean of the RPMS and then Deputy Principal of Imperial College School of Medicine after the merger of RPMS with Imperial College in 1997. His management style has always been regarded as unorthodox, I'm delighted to say, but direct and 
clearly extremely effective. In 2001, Professor Wright was lured eastward, as you've heard, and for 10 years was the warden of Barts in the London School of Medicine and Dentistry, and still leads that school's center for tumor biology, which brings together researchers in cell biology, molecular biology, and pathology to approach complex biological problems. As one of this country's most distinguished physicians and academics, we are proud to be adding to his many honors and awards today. I therefore invite you, President, under the powers granted to you by the Council, to award Professor Nicholas Wright an honorary degree of Doctor of Science in recognition of his outstanding contribution to medicine. Award of the Imperial College Medal to Mr. Kevin Cope. <coughs> Kevin Cope's story at Imperial began in 1976 when he joined the college as a trainee science technician. Over the next 40 years, he held a number of roles, culminating at his retirement this year as head of building operations. Mr. Cope was one of the first managers in the college to successfully complete a national award for occupational safety and health. And he went on to teach first year undergraduate students about safety and best practice techniques for working in the laboratory. Mr. Cope also played an important sporting role at Imperial, establishing and captaining the college's staff cricket team, which competed in and won a local league during the 1980s. He was a champion for equality and shared his skills as a mentor to other staff as part of a talent development program for black and minority ethnic staff. I therefore invite you, President, under the powers granted to you by the Council to award Mr. Kevin Cope an Imperial College Medal in recognition of the considerable contribution he has made to the life and work of Imperial College London. President, members of court and council, ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. When I was appointed chair of council of Imperial College, I became the first chair to have also been an alumnus of the college. So although it was some time ago, I know what it feels like to cross this very stage, just as you graduating students have today, with my proud family sitting in the audience, as many of yours are here today. Whatever measure you go by, Imperial College was and still is a very special place. The Times Education Rankings put us as the third highest in Europe and eighth in the world. Other measures vary, but in almost all of them we feature in the top handful of places, both here and across the world. Only around 7% of the total global population hold a degree at all, let alone one from a top quality university. So you graduates today are very special privileged people. I see today not as the end of a journey, but the beginning of a new chapter. Each one of you will see many, many opportunities to come, and I wish you genuine success in harnessing all of them. Now, it's my responsibility to bring these proceedings to a close, but before doing so, I'd like you to join me to thank those responsible for the success of this ceremony. So firstly, without trying to single out anyone in particular, please could you join me in thanking all of those who've worked behind the scenes so hard to plan and organize the ceremony. And then I'd like to thank Richard Dickens, Colin Durant, the student choir and all of the musicians that have performed so brilliantly throughout the ceremony. Thank you.
And of course, it's your day, not ours, it's your achievement. But sitting behind me is an array of people who've helped and guided you. And they've been joined by a great many other professors and lecturers, technicians, support staff, all of whom have helped you over the last few years. So I'd ask you to thank them, please, and the other staff at Imperial who've helped you. And then, of course, there are you, our new graduates. Only a third of you here just now, but 2,536 will cross the stage throughout today. It's your drive and enthusiasm that makes Imperial such an exciting and vibrant place. So we all want to thank you graduates and to celebrate your achievement. Well done. Now, although this is the end of the ceremony, it's certainly not farewell. You join me and many others in the worldwide network of Imperial alumni. We'll be here for you and we'll be keen to help you in the future. And I dare say at some point in the future, we may well ask you to help us too. We're proud of what you've achieved and we'll be proud of what you will go on to achieve. So please do stay in touch as members of the Imperial family. Now there's been lots of enthusiastic applause, but I can assure you that the Royal Albert Hall has seen much louder applause than that. And I've heard the medics can be even noisier than the engineers. So very finally, I'd like to invite you graduates to thank your most important supporters, your partners, your mothers, your fathers, your brothers, your sisters, your children, your friends, who've been there to help you when you've needed them. So please stand, face your supporters, and thank them. <laughs>